Son of a Preacher Man, and more recently with the Pet Shop Boys with What Have I Done to Deserve This. Now she's hoping to extend her success into the 90s with a new album later this year. Cathy McGowan went to meet her. Yeah, the Springfields actually were prior to the Beatles, whom we saw coming, incidentally, which is why we disbanded. Um, I suppose 1961, the Springfields yes. were. Yes. It was amazing that we were successful because we didn't really, we only had one really super hit record, mm. Island of Dreams. I mean, the others sold all right. But we just sort of bounced up and down a lot and looked terribly cheerful and sang very fast. This was so as no one would notice how, how, to, how out of tune we were. And we just generally gave this sort of bonhomie, this great spirit. And we were English. It, there was time for that then. Now, you were a convent girl, weren't you? Yes, I was. And, uh, and not many convent girls went into the world of rock and roll, did they? No, and it was really a series of sort of uh, blunders. I mean, uh, I didn't know anyone, didn't have any connections in the rock and roll world. So uh, we, coming from the Springfields, I was well placed to just do that. I mean, it wasn't exactly a struggle for me because we were so visible yes. that when we split to go three separate ways, which had been planned for some time, I had already made the first album. So it was like three weeks off during which I, I emceed or compared Ready, Steady, Go. That's right, you Yay, did. Sunday. You did. That's before I was on it. Yep. Yes. Three weeks. It, three weeks I had the job before you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Hard act to follow you, were, Dusty. Oh, bless you. <laughs> But you did drop out of the limelight and the headlines. What were you doing then? Well, I, I did work, but what was happening to me is it, the, the Americans, what they do instead of putting you to work in men's clubs or quiz shows, they steer you into nightclubs. And that was a world that luckily is practically dead in America now, but that's what singers did. And um, that was such a grey world. You know, I hate nightclubs, I'm just not a club person. So I thought, well, if that's really what's going to happen to me, I can do it, it's quite easy, but I'm, I have to be involved with things and I have to be challenged. Otherwise it becomes drudgery. So I just stopped. And then came the huge chance with the Pet Shop Boys. I mean, actually, I was sitting in the garden in California saying I really ought to do something. And instead of just sort of thinking about it, there was an actual commitment in my thoughts. And within a couple of days, um, I got a phone call, uh, actually from Vicky, and they had sent her a tape. And she called me and said, well, here's today's silly idea. And um, I, she said, I'll give you a day to listen to it. Tell me what you think, because they want music from it. Yeah, that was amazing, too. I mean, that was so perfect, that whole thing. Um, that the film was about the era that was actually, that was just before I became a solo singer. In fact, I think they got sent to prison the month that my first record came out. And it was just the perfect cyclical movement. And now, Dusty, you're a zonking great superstar again. Are you enjoying it more the second time round, then? I think so. Um, I suppose it's just a matter of, of uh, growing more mature, it, it's, which is a polite way of saying growing older. It, it's, um, things don't dent me as deeply. I, I can get disappointed, I can get angry, but I don't seem to be, uh, they're not so profound. Sort of, if anything happens that's disappointing, I just kind of, like, like a dog, shake myself off and go on with it because it's not that serious. I take the job seriously, um, but I'm able to sort of recoup from whatever resources are in there. And uh, uh, Neil Tennant actually always ab is able to put a sense of proportion back in my life. While he takes his job very seriously, working with him is nice because I can always laugh. And I'm inclined to take myself too seriously. And if I'm like, really sweating it and worrying about whether I'm doing it right, he says, it's just a pop record test. Did you really say she was a zonking great superstar? Yes, Guy, I did. Wonderful, wonderful Stop. turn of phrase. I've got to wave to everyone on British Airways.